35 years ago, Warren Buffett made one of the greatest investments of his career. Unknown at the time, during some of the darkest days in stock market history, Buffett made an unwavering decision that led him to make billions of dollars. To this day, he still holds a large percentage of this stock in his portfolio, reinforcing his value investing style and long-term vision for the stock market. Warren Buffett was born on August 30, 1930, in Omaha, Nebraska, in the United States. He displayed an aptitude for business from a young age, selling various items like chewing gum, soda, and golf balls. He even filed his first tax return at the age of 14, marking the beginning of his entrepreneurial journey. Buffett attended the University of Nebraska for a short time before transferring to the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. Later, he earned a master's degree in economics from Columbia Business School, studying under Benjamin Graham, a renowned investor and professor who would greatly influence Buffett's investment philosophy. After completing his education, Buffett worked briefly at various positions, including as a stockbroker. In 1956, he formed the Buffett Partnership, an investment firm that allowed him to manage money for others. Buffett's investment approach was heavily influenced by his mentor, Benjamin Graham, who advocated for a value investing strategy. Buffett focused on buying undervalued stocks of companies with strong fundamentals and a margin of safety. In 1962, Buffett began buying shares of a struggling textile company called Berkshire Hathaway. Despite the textile industry's challenges, Buffett believed it was a way to manage his partnership's funds. Over time, he began acquiring other businesses and investments under the Berkshire Hathaway umbrella. Eventually, Buffett shifted the focus of his investments away from textile manufacturing and toward a diversified portfolio of stocks and wholly owned businesses. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy centers around a few key principles. Value investing. Buffett seeks to invest in companies that are trading below their intrinsic value. He looks for companies with strong competitive advantages, solid management, and a track record of consistent earnings. A long-term perspective. Buffett is known for his buy and hold strategy. He prefers to invest in businesses that he believes will perform well over the long term, and he isn't swayed by short-term market fluctuations. A circle of competence. Buffett famously advises investors to stay within their circle of competence, meaning they should only invest in industries and businesses they understand well. A margin of safety. Buffett always seeks a margin of safety in his investments, ensuring that the price he pays for a stock is significantly below its estimated intrinsic value. And quality over quantity. Buffett's philosophy emphasizes quality investments over diversification. He believes in focusing on a few well-researched investments rather than spreading resources too thin. In the late 1980s, the Coca-Cola Company, a global beverage giant, faced several challenges. The company was dealing with changing consumer preferences, increased competition, and concerns about health-related issues associated with sugary drinks. These challenges led to a decline in Coca-Cola's stock price, making it an attractive opportunity for value investors like Buffett. Buffett's investment thesis saw the long-term value in Coca-Cola beyond its short-term struggles. He recognized the strength of the brand, the company's dominant market position, and its enduring consumer appeal. He believed that Coca-Cola's products, despite the challenges, would continue to be widely consumed around the world for years to come. Here are several factors that contributed to Warren Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola that makes it one of his best trades of all time. Brand Power Coca-Cola possessed an unparalleled brand with global recognition. The company's products were deeply ingrained in people's lives and culture, giving it a competitive advantage that was difficult for competitors to replicate. A Wide Economic Moat Buffett often invests in businesses with wide economic moats, which means they have sustainable competitive advantages that protect them from competition. Coca-Cola's brand, distribution network, and scale gave them a massive edge. A long-term focus. Buffett's investment philosophy is centered on holding on to businesses for the long term. He believed that even during temporary downturns, the intrinsic value of Coca-Cola would appreciate over time. Dividend Income Coca-Cola's consistent cash flow allowed it to pay dividends regularly. 
For Buffett, this meant not only potential capital appreciation, but also a steady stream of income from dividends. Not only was Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola successful, but it turned out to be his best investment of all time. Over the years, Coca-Cola's stock price rebounded and appreciated significantly. The investment provided substantial capital gains. Coca-Cola's dividends contributed to consistent income for Berkshire Hathaway, further enhancing the investment's returns. Buffett's commitment to holding on to the investment allowed him to benefit from the compounding effect over decades, giving him a return of almost 2,000%. The success of the Coca-Cola investment demonstrated the effectiveness of Buffett's value investing approach, solidifying his reputation as a prudent and successful investor. Following the worst stock market crash in history, Buffett deployed nearly $1 billion in Coca-Cola, an investment that almost 99% of people would have been too scared to make. But Buffett's calm demeanor and strict approach to value investing in great companies made him billions. His famous saying, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful, catapulted him to becoming one of the best investors of all time. His current investment in Coca-Cola is roughly 7% of his portfolio and generates Berkshire Hathaway over $700 million a year in dividends. Here's a short video of Buffett explaining his love for brands and how he never plans on selling his position. Uh, you know, since 1886, and and uh, Jacobs Pharmacy, you know, you've just seen year after year after year till now you've got 1.8 billion, you know, eight ounce servings a day around the world. And when I joined the board in 1988, I don't remember the exact figure, it was a whole lot less. And you've got fewer shares outstanding now and you've got way more <laughs> per capita. And, and you're gaining share around the world. So uh, those are the kind of businesses I like. I like, I like wonderful brands. You gotta take care of them. And, uh, but if you take care of a, of a great brand, you know, it's forever. And, and uh, that, those are the businesses I like. We own 400 million shares of Coca-Cola stock, as you know, we've never sold a share. And I wouldn't think of selling a share. Warren Buffett's disciplined approach to investing has yielded remarkable results over the years. His company, Berkshire Hathaway, has become a conglomerate with diverse holdings in industries like insurance, consumer goods, energy, and more. His success has earned him the nickname of Oracle of Omaha and made him one of the richest individuals in the world. Buffett is also known for his philanthropic efforts, pledging to give away the majority of his wealth to charitable causes through the Giving Pledge Initiative. In 2023, nearly 50% of Buffett's portfolio consists of Apple stock, once again reiterating his love for famous brands. Astonishingly, Berkshire Hathaway is also sitting on over $140 billion in cash. He's been buying U.S. Treasury bills in droves due to the recent increase in interest rates. With frothiness in the market and cash earning 5% in the short term, it appears Buffett is patiently waiting for another opportunity. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please take a moment to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel.